Ever find yourself wondering about the Star Trek multiverse, its concepts and characters? Do you spend your time thinking about how deep science fiction goes? Hi, this is Trek's Expertise, where we discuss all things sci-fi through the lens of Star Trek. Over the next few decades, humanity will undergo a profound transition. This transition will stand in an exclusive class of rare occurrences that have completely altered what it means to be human. I am talking about the advent of artificial intelligence. And, like the Neolithic Revolution, this coming moment in time has no precedent. There will be no going back. The situation may sound complex or dire, but it can actually be simple to understand the projected timeline. It has everything to do with the exponentially increasing complexity of technology. Artificial intelligence currently exists in our modern world, but it is of a type labeled narrow AI that is assigned one specific task. For example, Google searches, or Siri can call your dentist, or the Nest thermostat can regulate your air conditioning. Experts predict that this narrow artificial intelligence, through the power of exponential growth and some nifty self-learning algorithms, will eventually be replaced with a more efficient, general, artificial intelligence. General AI will be something equivalent to one average human mind, and this is expected to develop sometime in the next 30 to 45 years. But the exponential train doesn't stop there. After the general intelligence level is achieved, the next stop is artificial super intelligence, the kind that is orders of magnitude more advanced than entire groups of humans. Some experts think that moving from the general category to the super category will take additional decades. Others suggest that, under the right circumstances and with the right self-learning software, the transformation can happen even more quickly in a scenario called an intelligence explosion. We have no idea what this artificial super intelligence will have in store for us humans, whether it be friendly or indifferent or worse. The moment in time when the complexity of technology becomes such that our predictive powers fail is what Werner Venge coined as a singularity, which was later made famous by inventor and futurist Ray Kurzweil. So I chose to believe that I was a person, that I had the potential to be more than a collection of circuits and sub-processors. Science fiction has long hurled itself into the proposition of artificial intelligence, examining the varied implications for human existence. Prove that you are self-aware. That's a difficult question, Dr. Tagger. As a result, sci-fi has given us an atlas of possible roadmaps to choose from in regards to how humanity should react to this inevitable transformation. Remember, science fiction creators are extrapolating possible futures. Real-life societies can then choose the sci-fi concepts they most want to emulate by creating certain elements depicted in the stories. The more popular a work of science fiction is, Hello, computer. the more likely it is to be emulated. With this in mind, Star Trek, the most popular route in our atlas of possible futures, has a mixed record regarding artificial intelligence. There are very few robotic or artificially intelligent denizens of the Star Trek multiverse, save for a few choice androids and the occasional exocomp. Even for menial tasks, like cleaning the carpet on a galaxy-class starship, there do not seem to be any artificially intelligent custodians. Here in the real 2015, even I have a robot to clean my floor whom I've affectionately named Gaius Baltar. Given the very real predictions for the coming decades, why isn't the Star Trek universe covered up with artificially super-intelligent machines coexisting with humans? The answer is simple and obvious. The future can be difficult to predict. Sometimes trends and practices rise up as if out of nowhere. Take social media, for example. The majority of internet activity right now happens through social media networks a very new, very different method of human interaction. When the internet was invented, no one could have foreseen how integral social media would become in our lives. Yeah. How about sending your mom some nice flowers? All you do is click on Marketplace, we place an order. Call now for America Online. And the Star Trek universe reflects this inability to perfectly predict the future. Almost no one on Star Trek uses social media or logs onto the internet. In the same way, Star Trek also misses the mark regarding the coming advent of artificial intelligence. 
At Star Trek's inception, people certainly expected robots and AI to be part of the future, but even Star Trek could not adequately predict the rate at which computing power would accelerate. That's why the Enterprise's computer, a brilliant candidate to have an artificial intelligence, is not an artificial intelligence at all. It's basically a sophisticated desktop computer. Nevertheless, some of the AI concepts discussed do make it into the Star Trek multiverse. The most notable instances are through the obvious characters of Mr. Data and the Doctor and surprisingly, through Reginald Barclay. First, Mr. Data. In our classification scheme, Data is an artificial general intelligence, his positronic brain largely equal to one average human mind. He has remarkable computational powers, true, but he is only mentally more advanced than humans in the ways that current computers are more advanced than humans. Data is otherwise programmed to be an emulation of a single human being. I just love scanning for life forms. Data is not what current AI experts would refer to as an artificial super-intelligence. His program limitations cap his mental development so that he will stay at the level of one average human mind. This makes sense. Data's creator, Dr. Soong, fully intended for Data to be as human as possible. The programmed limitations reinforce Dr. Soong's goals for Data, and consequently, Data will never achieve super-intelligence status. Next up, the Doctor. Voyager's emergency medical hologram is basically in the same boat as Data in terms of intelligence. I hope you now have a better understanding of the struggles holograms must endure in a world controlled by organics. The Doctor is obviously a general artificial intelligence with more advanced memory and processing power than his biological shipmates. However, unlike Data, the Doctor appears to be able to fundamentally reprogram himself, where Data appears only to add to his programming in the form of additional subroutines. This fundamental reprogramming, in theory, is one of the necessary conditions of the rise to artificial superintelligence. Like Data, the Doctor picks up hobbies and creative outlets, but the Doctor, in his ability to learn and change his personality, exceeds the capacity of one human mind. He even falls in love, something that Data has trouble mastering. Why the Doctor never advances to a super-intelligent state is unclear. Nevertheless, holograms seem to be the best platform for Star Trek to discuss the issue of artificial intelligence. This is evidenced not just by the Doctor, but also by prior flirtations with holographically produced intelligence. The coming AI revolution we are facing in our own reality will be more software-based instead of hardware-based, which describes holograms perfectly. The closest Trek gets to lining up with actual scientific predictions in regards to artificial intelligence is the Next Generation episode, The Nth Degree. In this episode, an alien probe reprograms the socially awkward Reginald Barkley to facilitate moving the Enterprise to an alien homeworld for the purposes of an information exchange. In the process, Barkley undergoes an intelligence explosion, an increasing of his mental capacities and abilities by entire orders of magnitude above everyone else on the ship, including Data. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. This episode depicts what a few AI experts believe we might see when general artificial intelligence moves to the super-intelligent level. Even though Star Trek misses the boat on the coming proliferation of AI, Trek's two most prominent artificially intelligent characters do what Trek usually does, remind us to show respect and reverence for all life and forms of intelligence, whether natural or artificial. As science fiction, Trek helps us think through the possibilities opened by the coming singularity so that perhaps we can avoid most of the negative consequences, what author David Brin calls self-preventing prophecy. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to the channel for future episodes. Also, check out CGP Grey's video, Humans Need Not Apply, and this article detailing the roadmap to artificially intelligent machines.